A grave decision to solve a grave crisis. That was Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda's message to his people after he approved the restarting of two Ohi nuclear reactors in western Japan. Recent surveys suggest most in his country want to abandon atomic energy, but the Prime Minister says he had no choice. Parts of Japan are facing a severe power shortage. I had to reach one conclusion while the public opinion was polarized. I take full responsibility. I cannot put people's safety and livelihood at stake by not restarting the nuclear reactors. I ask for the nation's understanding that this is a decision based on trying to protect the people. Many here do not share his view, evidenced by the thousand protesters in Tokyo who vented their anger outside Noda's official residence. Prime Minister Noda wants us to restart the nuclear reactors, and I came here prepared to stop it at all costs. I'm doing it for my children and grandchildren. The government is saying that starting the reactors is for the economy and that it will be safe. I just don't believe that for a second. But if not nuclear power, then what else? The Fukushima crisis 15 months ago deprived Japan of nearly a third of its electricity supply and left the country facing an energy crisis this summer. Ministers say using fossil fuels would drive up electricity bills, harm small businesses and still leave a severe power deficit. Noda is hoping that the promise of tougher safety measures will help avoid another Fukushima. But it's clear many of his fellow citizens don't agree. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.